Well, a hot topic is making headlines once again. Folly Beach City Council will discuss new amendments to the recently passed short term rental cap this week. Sean Mahoney, join us live in the studio with reaction from people it would impact the most and what they believe should be done to manage the new cap. Sean, good morning. Hey, good morning, Mel. Good morning, Alyssa. Well, the new amendments would allow exceptions for owners who didn't get renewed for an STR license to get approval if they one paid taxes or were in construction prior to the vote earlier this year. And while this may help some, some residents fear it could put more STRs on folly than the proposed cap allows. However, they have some alternatives they believe could help clear the backlog. I spoke with Ann Peets of the Folly Beach Residents Association. She says since there are already hundreds of homes on the wait list, promoting alternatives like 72 day rentals or long term rentals on the island could cut down on the number of investors aiming to get their STR licenses. But more importantly, she says the city could avoid these headaches by just having more transparency of the enforcement of this cap. She claims it would shorten the wait list and also improve compliance throughout the island. We want to see them move to the next phase where that enforcement really is starting to happen, where they are uh, going in and basically issuing violations when they happen, not just nice warnings that don't result in, in anything. And that really rewards the people that do a nice job in terms of property management and they can have a great investment rental that is a good uh, community player and uh, really moves it moves them up in the list and, and makes them thought of most positively on the island. Now for a little more background on this enforcement right now, there are more STRs than the proposed captain over 100 more already on the wait list. Folly Beach Mayor Tim Goodwin says to stay in good standing, you must keep your business and rental license up to date. Know who you rent to and avoid violating the city strike system. If you lose your license, you'll have competition to get another one. Like we talked about that long wait list that's already building up. Now these amendments, they're only going to have their first reading at the Folly Beach City Council meeting tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Working for you this morning, Sean Mahoney, ABC News 4. All right, thanks, Sean. Well, the cap on short term rentals on the island was approved in a special vote in February of this year. However, Folly Beach Mayor Tim Goodwin says it could take years to get the number of STRs below the cap thanks to those who were grandfathered in.